Okay, hello, hello, hello. Let's uh, see if that works. Yeah. How's he's going? Can you guys hear me? I'm just gonna try something with this camera thing. Morning, morning. I am uh, just, yeah, we go, that's better. Uh, what's going on? It's Thursday morning. We're awake. We're all awake, are we? Fingers crossed. Oh, where are we? Where's that bit? There it is. I'm just getting my uh, computer screen organized here. It won't be a second. What's been going on? Anything exciting happening? I've got some new glasses. Do you like? They are... They're freaking me out. The um, My script changed, uh, changed so much this time. And uh, it's just because getting old and all that. And um, it's like the first time you have, you get glasses when you, you haven't had them before. And you feel like the world's wobbling and spinning out of control. You can't walk straight. But slowly getting used to them. I only picked them up yesterday afternoon. There we go. Oh, I've got another pair too. Got two. So what's crapping in everybody? Ten, 10 of us at the moment. I'm just gonna share this to Facebook and like a couple of groups. So just give me a sec. Yeah, and if you've got uh, anyone you want to share it with or any pages or groups you're in, art, arty farty wise, um, share away, that'd be tops. I will share in that my group. Share it on there. All right, cool. So today's lesson should be pretty cool, I reckon. I um, haven't done these scenes um, a lot. There's, oh, there's one I have never done ever, but um, the one that I have done before, I think I've only done twice and it's a, it's a cool thing. No, they're actually, these ones are clear, which is good. Hello Enrique, how are you mate? Hopefully all is well. Now uh, they're, they're clear, but yeah, they do look pinkish in this light, but that's okay. All right. So I'll bring up the first image. Just give me two seconds. First image. So we'll do this one first today. There we go. Look at that. So it is London town. And I did a quick demo of this on Instagram like months ago and it was, it was pretty fun. But there's a couple of things we need to uh, be aware of in this kind of painting to make it work. Um, the biggest thing for me is, is just getting rid of that uh, St. Paul's dome out of the center of the frame. They'll move it over a bit. Uh, yeah, the other times I've done it, I've put a couple of little bits of masking fluid down, but I don't think I will for this. I won't bother. I'll just um, use some opaque paint at the end. That's fine. Uh, strong light. I probably won't do a completely round circle for the sun. Even though it kind of looks cool, I'll just leave a, a patch of white paper. You'll get the same effect, and I think it'll look a bit more painterly as well. 
And the biggest thing we have to worry about here is tone. Now, if you just, just cast your eye slowly from the top of the picture, right down to the foreground, you've got light, 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 lighter, darker, 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 still, darker, still, and then quite dark, pretty, you know, black at the front. So we need to be aware of that. That's a really big thing. It won't work if your tone's not, if your tone's not right, it won't work. So if you don't make your distance weak enough, it won't work. You just won't get that uh, depth in the piece at all. So you have to, um, have to be really aware of that. But that's cool. We'll be right. All right. So nothing move on the screen. What do you mean, Kanye? Is there, am I frozen on your screen or something? Can you guys all see what I'm doing? So, uh -huh. when when it whenever in doubt, if your internet's giving you shit, when if, if you're ever in doubt, just refresh your screen. Click the little refresh button, or not unless no one else can see me either. But see, I'm monitoring this on another device as well, so I can see what you guys see, and it all looks okay. All good from this way? That's good. Yeah, Kanye, if, um, yeah, just uh, click the little refresh arrow and away you go, it should be okay. Um, yeah, can't help the internet problems, unfortunately. I wish I could. It'd be nice. Um, cool. So, let's get stuck in. Here we go. Let's do that. Wait, there we go. Okay, now, all good, good. Good, good, good. Now let's bring that back up. Put that over here somewhere. But yeah, I'll definitely, um, I will definitely be moving the uh, the dome over, probably to the right hand side. I reckon. Give that light a bit more room. But yeah, cool. Are we all ready to rock? Uh, have you got everything masked up? If anyone's painting along, do you want to, um, do you need any more time to, to get going? So just a little, because you can see my palette there, just from the top, I'll just go through what the colors are. Um, top left, down. So we'll go neutral tint, burnt sienna or maroon brown, uh, raw sienna, Indian yellow, then across to French ultramarine blue, scarlet red, uh, Bordeaux, uh, transparent orange. That's just a little remnants, one the next, next to it. And then cobalt turquoise, uh, Paris blue, uh, cobalt blue, and then across to lavender, up to jeune, and the one in the corner is a brilliant blue violet. So, sort of a darkish purple. All right, are we ready to rock? I didn't get a response to that. I'm just making sure everyone's ready to go. Ask questions along the way, anything you want, to, want uh, answered. You want me to slow down, speed up, anything like that? Just, just let me know. Because I can, I can only see what you guys are writing if you write it. <laughs> so, <laughs> it sounds like a stupid thing to say, but you know what I mean. Okay. Let's just, uh, just moving things around. Cool, that might make it easier for now. All right, is everyone all cool, ready to go? Still no one's answered, so I just wanna make sure. It's a simple question. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Well, I will assume then that everyone's right and ready to go. Let's go with assumptions, eh? Let's do that. And I'll just start. See how we go. Cool. All right. So, just getting my reference photo. There it is. Yay! Thanks for answering, Joy. <laughs> okay, I am painting today on rough paper. This is the Baohong paper. It's only a bit of rough stuff I've got left. Okay. But doesn't matter. Cold pressed will do. It's all good. Drawing has got to be quite simple, as sort of usual with my stuff. I'm actually going to start with the dome, where I want that. And if you kind of have a look where the the top of the dome is, um, like the top of the actual dome shape, um, it sort of falls around halfway up. Um, so that's that's not too bad because you've got the rest of the dome on top of it. So I'm going to go um, rough it in about there somewhere. That's pretty cool. Best way to do a dome is to do a circle first. And we get some straight lines in next to it. And there'll be a lot of a lot of impressionism in this as usual. It's the it's what I'm always after. Uh, I've got a little dinky dink, whatever that is. And a smaller dinky dink up there. A couple of things. And because it's dominant, it's part of the scene, I will actually do a cross. But I don't want the drawing any more detailed than that, because it's my usual thing is it's not a it's not a rendering, it's a silhouette. We're painting into the light. So don't go too crazy. Just get the Proportions roughly right. See, that could even come up a bit further. That straight edge there, about there. That's cool. We'll feel that out when we paint. Put a couple of these buildings in, just the general shapes of them. You will be surprised how much we leave to the imagination here and you just make it up. But it's, the scene will still still work. We just kind of, you know, just muck around with. We're not really worried too much. There are cranes and things there, but we can put those in. That's kind of it. My, my dome is a bit big. That's all right. It's fine. The proportion's cool. I'm happy with that. Uh, quarter sheet, Julie, so roughly A3. I always demo these on quarter sheets uh, purely because they film better. They just fit with what we do. Yeah, quarter sheets always that 
I'll demo one anyway. <laughs> awesome. So I'll just give you a sec to catch up with your drawing. And I'll just... Uh, that's a little... Add a bit. Yeah, that's cool. Yep, that's all right. Well, good. Okay, that does look quite wonky here, but that's okay. I can. Yeah. Just wondering if that make it a bit more of a defined thing there. Yeah, it's fine. Dash fan. All right, I'm gonna start painting. So, big soft brush, doesn't matter what it is. I've just got this, say, excuse me, this sable thing here. Clean water, it is actually clean too. You can see that, whoa, it's crazy. Uh, gonna wet the sky, except for the bit that I wanna leave white and bright, sort of up here somewhere. Doesn't have, it's not gonna be perfectly circular or anything like that but want to wet around it and you know rough edges is good and we're just going to do a big graded wash and I'm going to go warm you could do this in a cool version but for the sake of this I'm going warm yeah That will look funny for a sec, don't stress. We can soften that up in a moment. Okay. So it doesn't look so crap. Alright. Oop, that was something from the palette. Now I want to go into the brightness now, we'll just get that orange that real bright loveliness let's bring it down if you can leave little speckles and stuff behind that's good you know, leave leave some that that can indicate something catching a light in the back. That's always good. Yeah, I'm just going to bring in a bit of bright red, you know, cad red or something, whatever you've got. A bit of brightness, and I'm just sort of skipping it across across everything. We're not cutting around anything here at all. Then I'm going into some. Alizarin or Bordeaux. As we come down, you go back into this brown. Just want this nice, gentle wash but um still gotta be it's gonna be quite strong i 
you know, all these sort of things. If you can catch a couple of things there, you might might use them later on. That's good. And as we come down to the front, I'm just going straight into some darkness. If we can establish this little bit of tone at the start, that's always good. Helps out. Nice. Cool. Lovely. Yeah, good. Actually happy with that. That's cool. It's a nice gradation. So I'll just let that sit for a second. Hi, right, Barbara, how you going? Ah, how you going? Stupid passwords, don't you hate them? <laughs> Technology, eh? It's good when it works. So I'm just letting this wash, just sort of sit in there for a second. This Baohong paper, I don't know if, if anyone's used it yet. It is different. It dries really quite slowly, um, which is good for some things. And there, are, there are some things that, you know, that's not so good for, but overall it's pretty cool once you get used to it. Yeah. Just when it starts to go off a little bit, I'm just gonna, I might not need to do this, but I've just got a bit of purple. Just because it'll mix and form a nice little dark. Just make that a little bit stronger because I fear it'll just dry off a bit weak at the bottom. Obviously, you know, we'll be going over things. And that's cool. But uh, yeah, just wanted to get a little bit in there. So you can strengthen that up. Cool. All right, I'm going to hair dry out now. And get a move on there. Won't be a second. Look how you look how much when I spray when I uh, spray when I dry this off, you see how much the paint's still moving on the paper. How it uh, take takes a long time to soak in. Um, Ian, I, look, I do and I don't, there are, um, I, I don't like how you kind of have to sort of force its hand a bit, like, you know, a lot of like other paper that, I, well, stuff that I'm used to, 
Arches and Saunders in particular that, you know, you get these effects of water, the paint moves around on the paper a bit easy, or a bit easy, well, a lot easier than, um, a lot easier than it does on the bow hole, but it's just sort of stays put a bit. But that has its advantages too. So, I mean, the rough that I'm using is very rough. It's cool for textures and things, which is one thing I'll use in this afternoon's piece is some of that nice rough texture. But ultimately, I do like it. I think it's cool. Um, but it takes a bit of getting used to. Hey, Tara, no, you're right. It's, you haven't missed much at all. I've only been painting for five minutes. So just a simple drawing in that nice wash downwards. But I'll, uh, I'll give you a bit of time to sort of catch up there a bit. I don't know what's going on out in the house. Some sort of... <laughs> Shares might be doing some repairs. Okay. So. So, here we get a brush, which is highly unusual for painting, I know. Yeah, mix up a bit of a, a light, a cooly, coolish colour. Um, ah, but light, you know, we don't want, don't want any strength in this stuff at the back at all. Um, I'm going to sort of start it about there. We get some dry brush and whatever in, doesn't matter. Just bits of an indication of stuff. That's all. Oh, Henry. Just stuff. And we want it to be nice and soft. Oh boy oh. I bet he's just rejoicing hearing my kids whinge when you paint. <laughs> yeah, this is the point where I'm just floating things around, so you know, just getting a little bit stronger each time we come forward. And I'm just making some marks. I'm not um, painting anything as such. There's no deliberate stopping or anything, but any, any of these little highlighty bits, I'm happy to keep. And move on, just vary your colors. Bit of warm, bit of cool. And we're just creating the illusion, like it's an it's an impression of a whole bunch of buildings. Yeah, it's good. Some coolness in there. Water, quick brush strokes, so you're catching some of that grit in the paper. And we're just moving forward. So this is just. Ultimately, as it dries off, it'll just create an illusion. We're going to come get a little bit stronger as we come forward. It'll start. We'll start to sort of do that now. But we're still not painting anything. We're just creating little bits of stuff. The illusion of activity and busy busyness. Oh, Henry. I'm just letting it skip. Obviously, I'm painting over the dome, but that's cool. We'll start to go a bit hotter in there. Just varying things. Don't want everything to be completely stagnant and boring. The world's full of boring paintings. We don't need more of them. Did anyone listen to the podcast episode this week about the... I liked having a look into that. But um, it's an interesting 
topic. Oh, Henry. Still just bring it down, count a bit stronger, a bit redder. Oh, dude. Jeez. Paint it the same way. See my brush strokes? Brush strokes, they're all pretty horizontal. It just works better. And they're pretty quick. So just still, still retain your your freedom in the way your brush moves make it dance around be quick you know think about things a little bit and then go for it once you know what you you know where you're going and what you're doing just get stuck in don't dawdle just make it a little bit darker now That's just a bit of uh, blue going straight in there. It's a transparent blue. Yay, the dogs next door will start barking. Whoa. We, uh, these new guys moved in. They bought the house next door. And oh, they seem okay, just youngsters, but they've got these two Labradors that won't shut up. And our dog's an idiot, and so we can't really let him outside much. Otherwise, the whole neighbourhood will never get any peace. Just splashing a bit to create something. What I do want to do here is just with a bit of clean water, not too far. I just want to get rid of a little bit of that, smooth it out a bit so it doesn't... Um, cause me grief when I go to paint over it later on. That's okay, cool. But really happy with the way it looks in general. Ah, cool, good stuff. Awesome. Okay. All right. I'm just going to start drawing that off a bit now. It's a few, you know. This is a bit of a, a layer type painting. There's a lot of lot of layers. So obviously you've got your your first wash, then this bit, then we'll put a few more detailed building shapes, and then we'll do the dome, etc. So there's a bit of layering, a bit of drawing involved. So get cracking. Mm-hmm. 
Those are fun, huh? Jeez. Sorry about all the noise today. Can you guys hear a lot of it? There's not much we can do, unfortunately. It's something called life. In a perfect world, I would have a great studio that's silent. Unfortunately, it's not the case yet. Yet. It's good to have goals. All right, so I'm just going to start doing some uh, a bit more deliberate kind of building shapes, still following the same tonal principles. Um, don't want to make them too strong. But uh, oh yeah, just doing a bit more, a bit more obvious sort of structural things. And don't worry about the reference picture and putting things exactly in the right spot and all that stuff. Don't worry about that. We're just creating an, an impression of of buildings. It's got to be there, just can't be that strong yet. Let's start bringing in some more strength. And the, re the way I do that is just by adding a little bit of purple to it as it comes forward, as we get closer to the foreground. It's the same sort of mixture, it's still warm predominantly, but we're just going to start doing some uh, more definite building looking stuff and not everywhere we're not gonna not gonna color in and lose our painterliness um, but just want a bit of tone right that's fine there so let's let that sit for a second Go this way, bring that down a bit, a bit darker. Oop. Ugh. Oop. Uh, you kind of got to work a bit quick because if you want to get some soft edges and things, that's the way to go. Sort of keeping it moving across so we've got a nice, even, gradual feel. So be aware of that tone the whole way. Keep looking back at it and make sure it's still making sense. Yeah, there's not much here, but you can start to put in little diagonals, perspective 
diagonals if you want to. You know what I mean? So that indicate rooftops and that kind of stuff. Once again, not much of it. If you're going to do it, it has to be correct, otherwise it'll look funny. Okay, yep. All right, so I'm just going to bring everything down still. I'm going to cross so we don't get a cut out there. Still bringing things down. It's a gradual layering process. It's a purple. And there's this road or something out there. We'll see if we can capture some of that. I don't care if we don't. The hell is Henry? He's outside, I think. There's stuff going on the line. Exciting stuff, all happening. Here in Moona. Just making marks, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just mucking around, bringing everything down. Oh, shush. Always looks a bit messy at this point because you you're kind of mucking around with tone but as long as you're making sure that the tone is coming forward and it's making sense we're laughing getting darker as it gets closer to us essentially and the shapes get slightly bigger But what we'll do now, same thing as I kind of did before, I'm just gonna mop out a tiny bit of the dome area there, because I, I, even though I'm going dark into it, when I paint it, I just, I just wanna, don't wanna go so dark that we lose all the life and have to cover it up. And I don't want the dome to be transparent, of course. Uh, Let's do this first. Happy with how it's looking, but what I want to do, I'm just going to spray some bit of water into my fingers and just put a couple of bigger droplets here and there. And if I was uncouth, you know what I would do. Or if I was alone. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, dogs are annoying, huh? That's all right. It's life, I suppose, especially on a Thursday morning in suburbia. You can... Mm-hmm. 
Got to make sure it's 100% dry before we do anything else. So we're going to start putting in these foreground shapes now. funny if you squint your eyes well I guess at my painting anyway you squint your eyes it sort of looks like it could be a river <laughs> coming up the middle a dark crank and let's just go with the same whatever family of hues you've been using stick with it so I'm going sort of the purple and the sort of brown purple and burnt sienna the orange and I'm just going to put a little bit of that um, Paris blue if you haven't checked that out check that it's a schminky color I'm not sure if it's exclusive to schminky it's really nice it's it's transparent it's like it kind of goes on a little bit like phthalo blue but it's it's not staining and it's uh yeah it just dries off really nice it's like a really nice blue and mixes i'm finding mixes really well yeah about there somewhere that's good let's just get this in cross not worried about detail, but I just wanted to make sure it is obviously a cross. Whatever. It's a bit skew if that's all right. Okay. Now always just sort of keep going back, going back and look at the reference with this kind of thing. You've kind of got to get it right-ish. You know, you know, you know me. I'm not one for being a stickler for anything, but with this sort of stuff, you have to concentrate a little bit, just because hopefully it'll be recognisable as the thing you're painting once you're done. That's the goal with this. At least this bit is to people go, oh, yes, of course, or whatever. Yeah. Taking this opportunity to sort of correct my dome, the drawing of my dome was a bit big, it was a bit fat. So I'm just wanting to fix it up a little bit in this sketchy process, painting process rather. Oh, geez, that's skew if it? Harder than they look, the old domes, tell ya. It's all right, as long as you don't go too far with it, you're laughing. So about there, I reckon, would be a good spot. For that little edge and about there. Look. I plan this weekend to 
do some maintenance on my table here. It's annoying the bejesus out of me. Just how it moves. It's quite annoying. But anyway. Alright, getting there. What I do want to do is just splash a bit of water so it doesn't look so stilted and bleak. Cut out. Now. I'll just put this little building in here. I think it's just the other end of St. Paul's. Alright, so overall I'm happy with the shape of it. Just wanting to mess it up a little bit there. And bring that darkness down. So we're getting the darks cranking again. That looks cool, so I'm just going to leave it there, whatever it is. Careful, it's all still wet, so I don't want to mess with it too much. I'm just trying to make it all sort of fit in a bit seamlessly if I can. Now, yeah, let's do this. really want to keep that bit of white. I think it'll add something at the end. So yeah, that's all bleeding and stuff now. Good, good, good. That's great. I love all that. Remember we're painting, we're not colouring in, we need to still have it be expressive. All that, it's great, love all that. Just want to drop a bit of that in there to break the hard edges up a little bit. A couple of birds in the sky. Go. 
Don't normally mind birds, as you know, but didn't want them there. That's okay. Other bits of texture, really light. It's just breaking it up a tiny bit, that's all. Okay. All right, was that sit for a second? the old palette knife out so I want to put a building here maybe a couple of little things I still want them to be subtle so break up those little bits I think it's moving around enough. It's good. Cool. Happy with that. Pretty happy with that. It's good. Happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And you will see in a second how much it dry uh, lightens up. Dries off. One of those things with your tonal values, you've always got to be mindful of that, that fact that it does lighten up. Painting highlights will play a fairly important role here as well. You can really capitalise on that light. really want to make sure this is dry uh, just so I get a more realistic view of those tones as well. Make sure we're all working. Look at this, quite happy with Start watching paint dry. Art, art. So you could have been a comedian. A really shit one. Okay. Alright, let's let that cool off for a second. Hmm. I'm enjoying this. It's a nice, nice painting, I think. It's a nice scene to paint. And all right, a few little bits of dry brush. It's always good doing this, it's fun. So, we need this dark paint again, just gonna thicken it up. So, it's dare I say, dry. Just around here, I'm just gonna put a few little, little marks. Oh, 
not much you can't do too much of it Just subtle and do some dry brush stuff down here as well same kind of marks we're just putting horizontal for the most part just lines to give it a bit of texture a bit of interest do some verticals if you want to might be good to do a couple of verticals here and there another crane oh, cool now for some highlights see I'm making sure my brush is really dry thick paint just start working a few little highlights in just in the distance it'll be small dots and dashes nothing else right there. do a few more as you get closer don't go too crazy. can always put some smoke or whatever but there's enough softness there in this picture and obviously goes without saying at this point you should be looking at your own painting to see how it's progressing what you need let it talk to you etc etc that bit's talking to me I need to fix that up that's okay, I'll do that in a sec. In fact, let's do that. It's just not straight, it needs to be a bit fatter. That's kind of it, except for, let's go a bit of splashy. Let's make a bit more activity in the foreground. I'm just gonna go lavender. Not heaps, don't go nuts with it. Remember it dries off a lot lighter, so I'm not worried too much about the strength of that, how it looks right now. turquoise it's just a foil for that warmth that's throughout the whole thing it's just a couple of cool colors and it makes a difference I'll just give it a dry off
and I haven't used any red. Living on the edge, you see. It'll dry off to bugger all, I reckon, because it's quite diluted. Let's just do that, shall we? Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> yeah, not too bad. It's not too bad. It was always going to be a quick one, this one, because of the nature of it. It's, you know, big shapes. Let's just have a look. I think it actually works. I think it works quite quite well. It um, I know I say it all the bloody time, but the lighting on here is a bit wacky. Just trying to muck around with it to make it look more like it does in person. It's pretty accurate there. It's cool. Obviously, we'll um, I'll put some photos off of it later on. How are you guys going with it? Have you liked painting this one? Probably a quick one. That's cool. This afternoon's will be a tad more involved, which I'll have a look at in a second. Just seeing that now, way behind. <clears throat> the lag on this is quite significant. I reckon we're probably three or four minutes behind. Thank you. 
Oh, cool, Ian. Thank you. Ah, oh, that's all right, Julie. I understand, but the uh, yeah, you kind of got to paint paint it quick. But you can always look back. That's the good thing about this is it saves and you can go back through. I guarantee you that if you talk to anyone who's been doing my workshops for a while now, you'll know that um, you will speed up and your paintings will become freer and looser. I guarantee. Um, but yeah, I try not to slow down too much in workshops deliberately because you lose the spontaneity of watercolor um but no stick with it and stick around for this afternoons as well so we're not over so we just got this little one out of the way what we'll do it's um as i say this this will give you an idea of how far behind we are so as far as the youtube clock goes it's uh 12 past 11 right now uh, Sydney time, of course. Um, let's come back here at, uh, let's say half an hour. 20 to 12, so half an hour from now. Or quarter to 12, so 11.45, we'll come back in and we'll get stuck into this next one and it'll be, it'll be a doozy. I've not painted this scene before, but there are some cool things in it we need to, we need to, focus on and some real some really good results i'm seeing i'm visualizing some great results coming through and i can yeah i see it in my mind's eye it's good you'll have great fun but what i'll do is i'll turn the mic off um because you don't want to hear me have morning tea or lunch um but i'll keep this up this feed will sit will excuse me will sit there until i come back so half an hour from now so quarter to 12 We'll be back here and I'll see you then. And post your pictures on the Facebook group whenever you're ready. But stick around, stick around. This next one will be great. Cheers.
Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 I'm back. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so it is indeed quarter to 12. That's okay. We'll give people time to come back and hopefully we can get some people joining in. Okay. I'm just going to go and tape some paper to my board and all that kind of exciting stuff. <clears throat> it's very exciting. Yeah, I like that. He's a clever boy. Definitely be a bit trickier, this painting. I was just having a look at it, at the reference photo while I was eating and um, damn near put me off my lunch. No, not really, I'm just being silly. Um, that's cool. Tackle it in a methodical manner. I've kind of got it figured out how I want to approach it. And yeah, we should be able to cement some of those ideas we had doing that snow scene the other night. Some similar philosophies going on. <clears throat> Obviously it's a totally different scene, but a bit of snow, a bit of white paper, all that. So yeah. Let me know when you're back and ready and I'll start probably in a couple of minutes. I'll just bring this other image up. There we go, look at that. It's beautiful.
<laughs> yep, Dana, for sure. So I do have to stay aware that I'm on a roughly probably three or four minute lag um, finish. just while we're waiting there thank you very much for participating and having a crack at these pictures, watching anything you're doing to support the channel. I love it. And, uh, and support the, uh, you know, the, the journey, you know, get the podcast, everything, everything you contribute helps the podcast helps pay for everything. There's a lot of stuff that, um, a lot of things that need paying for with this. So everything you contribute, for me, it keeps allows me to keep doing it, and it's it's fantastic. Thank you, and um, check out the PayPal link if you want to make a donation, or treat think of it as buy me a cup of coffee. That's cool. Thank you very much. Uh, PayPal links there. The Patreon I've gotten rid of because it was having some issues, but there's another one. There's another support vehicle I'm going to put together over the next week, and I'll tell you guys about that next week. Should be good. And yeah, it's very cool. I appreciate all your support. It's very nice of you, and it allows me to continue supplying the good stuff for you. So I really appreciate it. Um, this scene, okay, fraught with a couple of uh, a couple of dangers here. Um, It's tonally, if you squint your eyes, those buildings in the back are the same tone just about as the arch itself. Um, and it'd be very easy to paint it all as one big thing tonally. We're gonna, we're gonna uh, paint it as a one big shape, absolutely. But tonally, we've gotta, we've gotta push the distance back a bit and sep to separate it a little because the light <clears throat> the light in this picture is pretty flat literally let's be honest it's not it's not fantastic you know dramatic light by any stretch of the imagination um so if you have a look at the shadows and things so look in the little uh, nooks and crannies of the you know where the um the little sculptures and all that sort of thing those sort of things are the shadows are really soft they're there of course they're there shadow is in everything regardless of um, the type of shadow it is it's there it's just soft and and subtle so these buildings at the back um, both in the distance sort of going back down the street and this one on the left that's closer are going to be painted very simply with bugger all detail um, and you know, we'll put a couple of windows here and there, but we want to keep that very, very simple because we want the focus is obviously the arch, but I think almost more so the focus is the the snow and the ground in front. Like the foreground's quite sort of striking and it should be fun to paint because it's that messed up mo mottled snow and, you know, that's just fallen. And yeah, a couple of figures for sure. But um, yeah. Should be good. And obviously the bus, we will paint very impressionistically as we should. So 
So it should be very much, very fun to do. <clears throat> but yeah. So it should be pretty cool. I'm going to start drawing up and please tell me if I am going too slow, uh, too fast, I'm sorry. I'll never go too slow, I don't think. But tell me if I'm going too fast. I'm making a concerted effort to go slower for you guys. Okay, so I'm going to put that. Um, yeah, I'll put it over here. That's fine. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Now yeah, put it over there. That's good. Cool. Mm -mm. And yeah, I'm looking forward to actually taking photos of these pictures later on this afternoon so you can see the actual light, the actual colouring a bit more accurately. I've got to, I've got to work on the, the light in for the demos. So they just don't end up looking accurate enough. They end up looking too warm or too cool, too bright. Yeah, but anyway. Thank you very much. I will go over to the drawing now and we'll start getting this together. Cheers. Okay, first thing you've got to do is not be daunted by it, okay? You, you see, it's a fairly complex scene if you break it down into it, all of its little elements and you go oh shit look at all that stuff look at the detail look at the lot oh, the bus the oh my god there's so much stuff there you can't look at it like that you've just got to see it as straight lines and a couple of curved lines that's all you've got it's all you can do and you shouldn't be wanting to complicate it any more than that as soon as you start complicating it, you lose focus of what, you, what you're doing. So here I'm looking at the horizon line. Just try and find that horizon line first. It's pretty good where, the, where it is in this scene. Um, so about a, th a bit more than a third of the way up, almost halfway up. So just get a rough feel for it there. Oop, that's straight, wasn't it? Um, <clears throat> that's kind of where the bus is sitting, I suppose. Yeah, the arches, the bottom of the arches, the front of marble arch will come down to about there, I reckon. Maybe a bit further up. Yeah, that's right. That's cool. And about there. Just draw a big box. It's a fair bit bigger, this arch in the middle. Fair way down, we're just looking at getting those proportions pretty right. But we're just blocking it in. We're just think, seeing it in lines, straight lines and some curves. Curves will come in about now. So, drawing done, <laughs> just about. No, it's the sort of hard bit is just getting that thing right. Okay. So if you, for one second, think that I'm going to put all this detail in 
You're telling thinking fairy tales. It's not going to happen. It's a fair bit there, obviously, but we can do it all in quite an impressionistic way. And I'm not getting bogged down in sort of seeing all the things that are there and going, oh, shit, I've got to make sure it's all right. No, you just put the rough things in. Just make it roughly work. That's all we're looking at. All right, let's do that. following it around you're just slowly making slowly bringing the shapes to life with not so much detail but just that those lines that are sort of starting to tell the story and fairly important squares that go across there across there and up there oh, that goes up a bit further and squares there, squares, boxes. Okay. And we just sort of start getting into the making sure you've got little in, little reminders you know treat the drawing as a reminder from where you paint when you're painting you just you just get reminded of these little bits you have to kind of take care of We're getting there. All good. Sweet. This is the sort of most complex part of the process is just just getting these little reminders. You know, we've got this this architecture here. It's obviously beautiful, and I and I I don't want to render it like a perfect copy. I could never do it. I just don't have the patience. Could do it if I wanted to, but it's just. No, no point when you're painting it. We just need little indications, that's all. That's all we're after. Nice stuff. Cool. All right, sort of happy with it. It's all quite dirty but I'll rub a lot of that out now in the background let's do just some rough shapes Let's 
shops. We can put a couple of figures in. So the figures are sort of stand because the figures are essential, I reckon, for scale. Um, so. One figure walking along. There's another one there. I might even do one about there. It just depends. We'll we'll throw another one in, most likely. Yeah, just having a look. Here there's this lamp. I remember that. Back there in all three, so that's fine. Oh, that bus. Bus is about there. Interesting. It's a uh, whoopsie. Oh, cool. It's nice. Uh, all right. Just going to get rid of a bit of the dirt. Won't matter too much though. Actually. No real point, but what I will do is get rid of just another bit of red there. Just realized I've just drawn that center arch too short. And I'm wondering. Yeah, it's pretty essential. That's nah, all right. That's cool. Um, <laughs> Trying to think if I should change that up a bit. If I change it, everything has to go up, so it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Easy done. Don't be lazy, dickhead. That's what I've found myself being then is a bit lazy. One thing about the Baohong paper is it doesn't doesn't erase pencil very well. But that's okay, that'll be fine. Yeah, that's better. It's better scale. Alright. I'll um give you guys a second to finish drawing up. It is a bit of a complex thing. So once again, go a bit slower than normal.
Okay. So yeah, it's a very rough drawing, but we just wanted to get the scale and it's the rough placement. Remember, this is a work of art that we're doing. We're not copying. We're not trying to do an, an architect's rendering of this. Um, and in my in my opinion, I don't think you should want to do that. I think you should react to the scene. My reaction to the scene is is that snow and the dark arches and the little kind of splashes of colour. Um, I think it, it can create a nice bit of work. And I'm looking forward to actually getting some of that old world texture on the, on the arch itself. And yeah, it should be fun. Should be good fun. Are you guys that are painting along and drawing, are you guys ready to start painting now or do you want me to wait a little longer? No worries, Julie, that's okay. Take your time.
Okay. All right, a couple more minutes and then we'll get started. Unless you, you need more time, let me know. Let me know. All right. Okay, I'm going to give it a crack. Are you guys ready to go? I'm happy to wait. We've got plenty of time. Just say the word. I can wait. <laughs> That's all right, Julie. No probs. 
as long as you've got roughly the right things in the right spot, it's not too detailed, but accurate size-wise as far as the bus and the people go, the arches. Just as long as you're using those things as your proportion guides, I suppose, is a one of a better term, it should be cool. All right, let's do it. Let's live on the edge and just get stuck in, eh? All right, so, okay, we can do, I'm gonna leave the sky completely white. There's gonna be no painting there at all. And that being said, I'm just gonna try and rub my mistake out a bit more. Yeah, it's all right. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Okay, let's go with a brush. Brushes are handy. having to think I think I will start we kind of don't really need to do a big wash or anything like that over the top because we're not doing any sky um, but what I will do I'll just start from I'll pretend I've done a big wash and I'll start from background to foreground so I'll put these distant well when I say distant the further away things in I better must have been some Pain on that brush, no, well, that's okay. Uh, and we'll start mixing some stuff up. Move that over. Just got a bit of grey. Yeah, I've pushed that straight out of the um, out of the box, out of the picture, just so it. Looks a bit nicer. And here we just just need to put some kind of activity there. That's all. Nothing just to indicate something's going on. And go over here. And we're just putting these rough building shapes in the back. I'm not copying anything that's there. I'm just getting the shapes in and away we go. We get them in and we leave it. That's it. Get cooler. Get turquoisey. Why not? Get turquoise up there. Cool. Nice. That'll make sense at the time. So let's head over here, get this building in. Not worry about detail. It's just getting those shapes and that tone in. And this one will be a bit closer to us so we can darken it up in areas. And I'm just getting little bits of gray from the palette, just little bits here and there. It's that little rooftop thing there. Let's go, there's a shop front here somewhere. Oh, it's Maccas. Didn't realise it was Maccas. There you go. Okay, cool. What I will do is bring a bit of this down and start just sort of doing the grey of the ground 
So in and out, in and around the snow, basically. Remember to keep your white paper, that's your snow. Be a bit cooler, a bit bluer. You know, just having a look, seeing where those dark spots are, the dark earth spots, and just getting a bit of a blue colour in there. Cool. Uh, don't want to do too much. Don't get out, get in and get out, basically. All right. Okay. I'm going to dry it off because I want to do a nice. I'm not going to dry it off. There's no need to yet. There's no need to. I don't mind if it's all going. So, a bit rough and ready. It's got to be a lot, a bit lighter than the stuff, I think, going back. And dry brush, leave a lot of white paper. Sort of in that preparation mode for the stuff that'll happen afterwards. Yeah, I'm just going to warm it up slightly. A bit of raw sienna. Can you hear my bloody daughter? Oh, she's a funny thing. A little bit. <clears throat> and tissue, bits of it out. This is just to create a little bit of texture without having to work too hard for it. Excellent. Okay. I'm going to squint my eyes and just while this is all still quite wet, I'm going to squint my eyes and have a look at the arches and um, that structure and just sort of see where the soft shadows are. So you can see it's there. This side, a little bit on this end, and up there as well. And obviously the arches themselves, but I won't do those yet. 
And I just want to put a little bit of softness in there, just a little bit. Just test a bit here just to see. Yeah, just that kind of thing. But um, just a little bit of softness, just so we start getting a bit of form. And that, oops, I didn't mean that, that's okay. Looking for those rough areas. Put some stuff in there. Down here. So it's just starting to take on that little bit of form, really roughly, obviously. Yeah. Splash a roux, never hurt. I'm going to dry it off now, and I'll just finish the background so we won't do anything else with the background once it's done. Brilliant, doesn't it? <laughs> it's good fun. I'll tell you, this is good fun. It's a challenge. It's a challenge to keep it loose and simple and not to bog down anywhere. As a general rule in society, I suppose it's good to not bog down anywhere. Oh, my sense of humor is very bad, very bad, very bad. Okay, so I've just got like a little, just a complimentary kind of color. Just a bit of bit of paint, not much. And I'm just gonna start doing a couple of little bits here. Nothing else there is good. That's fine. Don't want to put any more detail than we have to. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's kind of... Almost it. Oh, too strong, too strong. All right, stop it, stop it. You want to listen to that little alarm bell that goes off in your noggin? 
Okay. Let's get, let's just start working down. It's sort of doing a similar thing than we were doing with this line, these lines here, but make them a bit more definite. And I'm actually going to be armed with a clean brush as well, just with water on it, just to soften some edges. So, a bit darker, a bit stronger, and squint your eyes all the time, just so you get, get to see where those lines are. You know, work, work down from the top. Go up there a bit. That's how you got to look at it. Just take your time. So a bit more definite. But what I'll do is just got some clean water and just soften some of it, just so it becomes a bit more subtle and you get that gradation, it gives you the volume without you having to really do too much, which is always handy. Okay, now along here, we've got this one. What's there? But what we've got here that's different that we want to Capitalize on a bit. These are these little that kind of vibe. Fact. Same again, just a bit of clean water. Here, have hit it here and there like you don't have to wet the whole thing just hit it so it, and then it bleeds and gives you some nice softness and it's just a process we work our way down just with that slightly darker thing going on work our way down yeah cool. These weird little flourishes. Flourish, flourish. So, I'm just going to pull down these little show lines here, pull them across, just methodically working through it, lines in, clean brush just to soften that edge. And it'll start making sense before you know it. Okay, that's cool. It's an ob it's an exercise in observation. That is for sure. It's uh, God be observant with this stuff. And it's just a matter of looking, like it's just seeing. Like you squint your eyes and you just see. The major lines if you're looking for dark lines you go oh where are the darker stuff yep there we go there are the shadows there you can see it and put it in see it paint it that old chestnut see it and paint it that's it Getting there, getting there, keep going. 
And as we move over to this side, the, those lines of perspective start coming in from the, the shadow lines come in this way on the left hand side of the columns. And you just start putting those ones in. And don't forget, there's also these columns here. These are little details here at this level. Not to mention the sitting on the ground. Just keep watching, keep looking. there so that's cool we're sort of starting to get some detail in place without really having to do much and we can throw a little you know in, imperfections and things in starting to get there starting to don't want to overwork it, but what I want to do is just work a little bit of, a few of these little details back in. Just a few. Okay. not going to even remotely bother trying to paint the actual pictures that are there so don't don't even think about it happy though Yeah, darling. Oh, no, really? Thanks. What's that then? Thanks, darling. Ah, I know what it is. Show you this. I just got some mail, as you probably heard. But I know. I know what it is. Yeah, cool. I was part of the um, World Watercolor Month. Uh, and got one of my paintings printed on a little pouch which here it is world watercolor month <laughs> that's pretty cool I was thinking about that just the other day there you go I've made it, yay. 
Okay, cool. Back into it. I was on a roll. I don't want to stop that roll at all. Just stuff that little bit up there. I'm just going to move it over a bit. That's cool. All right. Getting there. Couple of little other marks that need to go across. That's good. All right. Okay. No time like the present. Gonna we'll do these arches. Bit of ultra. Burnt sienna. Mix up a nice dark. Mix up a fair bit of it because you'll you'll need it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Be careful. And you get one shot at making this nice and clean. Which it's got to be clean, otherwise it'll look horrible. Okay, about there. All right. That's okay, that can just stay wet for a second. This one here. Okay. These arches are where the uh, main darkness is in this piece. So take a bit of care because they'll end up being a bit of a focal point. Actually, I'll use this brush. I just want to bring some of this down with water. Even though I'm a great pro proponent of fast and loose, there is still, there are still spots where you have to take your time a bit. And it's important to give those spots the respect they deserve. But don't. Don't get bogged down, of course, but gotta gotta make it happen. Nice, cool. That's good. Happy with that. Now over here, just bringing that down. Cool, happy with that. Ah, uh, shut up puppy dogs. All right, cool, it's a nice shadow going across there too. Put that in. Oh, shush. That's what it's like all day. Can't go out. Can't go out in your own yard. It's pretty shit. Oh, well. 
That's life, there are worse things. Okay, cool. It's getting there. One thing I want to do is splash a roo. I want just that edge to be a bit softer there. And a bit messier. Cool, cool. Pretty happy. Pretty happy with it. Nice. Nice. Making sure some of these little shadows down here compete or stand up next to these. All right, cool. Happy with that. Happy with that. Good. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to do it now. Actually, no way. Think this through. Think this through. Don't go off too hastily. <sighs> Listen to these dogs, will you? Far out. I see what I've sort of missed here, but that's okay. I don't have much room because I stuffed the drawing up, but it's all right. I just stuffed up a little bit of action there and a bit of archway action. Same over here, of course. Cool. What plan to do? I'll just bring those down with some water. Just feeling my way through this. Like I said, I've never painted this scene before. So I'm feeling my way through it as well. But I'm happy with how it's looking at that the approach is is cool. Happy. Now do need to dry it off. <clears throat> dry it off, dry it off. That ended up being a bit too dominant there. Just scratching that out with a bit of clean water. Yeah, it's better.
Hmm. Hmm. Thinking about this, I'm thinking that I will end up glazing over at least the building on the left, making it darker in value. So the arch pops out at us a bit more. In fact, I'll do that right now. Whenever you're glazing, try and do it with a soft, soft brush so you don't um, scrub it what's already there. It's about right. Get a bit greyer. That's better. All right, so. Yeah, you don't want to scrub at the, the paint that's already there when you're glazing. But in this case, I wanted to just push that, the arch forward. And I'll do that there. So I've got to remember the bus will be at that point. These all bits over here are fine. And I think that works a lot better already. In fact, let's make it even stronger at the base. And I'll just do that by dropping paint in and just letting it sit, letting it run around and it'll It'll fall into the spot that we're after, hopefully. Well, if you've got that color on the brush, just have a look to see if there's anything else you can put down with it. There usually is. That's the thing too, like, I hope I help you with your approach to a painting, not just so you sit there sort of copying what I'm doing, which is fine. It's all cool. It's part of the thing. But I hope that I explain enough of my thought process to make, to make you realize why I'm doing what I'm doing and why I'm doing it that way. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This part of the drawing, totally bonkers. Um, if I tried to fix it, it'd make it look worse. I'm happy just to let it go. Um, but what I will do is strengthen, once everything's dry and everything's in context, I will strengthen a couple of these lines here and there so that, uh, so that I get a bit more depth and a bit more action in there. Should be good. So just letting it dry off a little bit first. And I will completely dried in a second and start putting the bus and stuff in. Okay. All right, happy with it. Schnoish. I like this. I like the piece. I'm happy with it. So far, I mean, it's early days. Early days, Governor. Right. 
Does anyone watch Wentworth? And did you watch it the other night? Aside from the incredibly bad acting on the, well, generally on the show, but from that lady who plays, what's her face? The new top dog, Allie. She's horrendous. But anyway, it was good. I like the show. Okay, red. Let's go a bit of bright red to start with. Then we'll subdue it. So here we go. We've got to get it in the right spot. So have a look. Make sure you're looking at things properly out there. And about there. There, I think we should do it. It's okay. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm going in and getting some alizarin and just sort of do the alizarin at the, the base. So it, uh, so it sits a bit darker toward the bottom. Yeah, it's a decent shape. There's another one over here too, which we'll just do a little bit of that off. I'll just indicate it out of this, just out of frame. Then. We'll go in with some purples or something, just at the at the base. Just kick it around. I know there's wheels and whatnot, but don't get too bogged down. We're looking at shadows and things here. I like those lines. They look. Something like that, mate. A loop. Yeah, I just want to soften a couple of them a bit. These little purple edges, see how purple that paint was. That's cool. As long as it softens up nice, good. Judging it on what it's doing now, which I shouldn't. I've got to. What I mean by that is I'm judging it by how it looks right at this second, and I'm not taking into account the stuff that'll go over the top of that. And I like that blurry, nothing there. It's good. All right, it's, um, I'm just going to leave that do its thing for a second. I'm going to do these figures. You know, me and figures, just little stuff, little heads. Dry paint, I'm gonna get some dry paint going. I 
Oh, these dogs can piss off. I tell ya. Alright. Okay, a bit of a bag. Whatever. Cool. It's just a, an indication. Something I've seen that I do want to just anchor to the ground are these bases of, of the arch. Okay, so over that way. Standing out like that, I just want them to be a bit more subtle, not so many straight lines. Cool. All right, I like how that's exploding there. Perfect. Painterly, 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 painterly. Good. Okay, let's get the dryer going because we need to start doing the calligraphy inside the arch, arches. I was just singing on the first day of Christmas. What the hell am I doing? Okay, another dark, blue and black. Blue and brown, sorry. Bit of purple. Bit of a lizard. Yeah, a bit more brown. Okay. So. Let's have a look at the stuff here. So we've got a little lamp. That's about there. And bars. Something like that. And we've got something that comes down there. thing Now I need to just sort of start looking for those little little bits to bring it home. Now what I was saying before about just sort of getting a, a few little darker spots here and there, and definitely up here, just to try and 
correct that a little bit. Not heaps there. It's just a few little marks, just darker. So we've got this variety of tones. There's a few little pops. It's kind of like not reverse highlights, I suppose where you put highlights on to, you know, to highlight things, but also with this, you can just draw attention to things equally with the darks. Ooh, excuse me. Let's do that. Do. Okay. Cool. Getting there. Slowly getting there. We need to. <laughs> yeah, we need to darken this snow up. That's what we need to do. And obviously, not darken the snow, darken the ground around the snow. This is what will start giving us a bit of contrast. Cool. Let's put a little tiny shadow going that way. A bit darker. Okay, dry, dry, dry. Still wondering whether that's dark enough. Wondering whether that is dark enough. Huh. Interesting. I think I, I don't think it is. <laughs> okay. Thinking, thinking. That's why it sounded painful. Okay. 
one thing I'll do. I'm just going to put a couple of a um, couple of directional lines because they they are there in the photo. Cool. Okay, glazeru again. I'm gonna glaze that building again. I want it to be quite grey. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Let's do that. Same story. Still soft. I think last time I just didn't account for the drawing shift enough. So <clears throat> just quickly dry this off. And we're almost there, almost. Yeah, that's heaps better. Heaps better. Funny how you notice things when you just have another fresh look at it. Look how off that is. Eh, no, it's not too bad actually. Yeah, there. It's good. Yeah. Nice. Okay, start put a couple of highlights here and there, I think. Actually, actually, I've spotted something that I wanted to do. It's all very harsh. I need to soften it up by putting this 
a little bit of tree in that's on this side. I want it to be quiet. Obviously it's winter, so there's no leaves about or anything, but I just wanna, that'll just help break it up a bit. We're not seeing trunks or anything like that. It's just, just little leaves, little leaves, little branches. Pretty good directional lines, they make a lot of difference. Okay. okay. You ever scratch your ear with the other end of your paintbrush and just get scared you're gonna puncture your brain accidentally. Me either. <clears throat> All right, a bit of white gouache here. A little bit in these lamps. Line a bit on the bus, a couple of dots here and there. I'm going to do the pigeons. Got to have the pigeons. Yeah. How do they, how do they look? I'll soften the shadows up a bit. take the tape off and have a have a look at it i need to rest my eyes from it it's yeah drive my eyes a bit nuts
I wish it looked looked right color wise. It doesn't look right color wise on your screen, but uh, I'll show you afterwards. Mm. That's almost there. Probably a bit better. Mm, about that. Yeah, I'll obviously I'll as I say before I'll take a photo and show you guys how it actually looks properly. It just always looks really purple. Yeah, stupid lighting. Gotta to, gotta to suss it out. I've got the good lights. They just yeah. Mm. No worries, Sorup, that's okay. I appreciate you watching. I really do. And yeah, feel free to buy me a coffee. No problem. I, I would love that. New glasses held up well. That's with fair. I like them. It's weird being able to see. I didn't realise how shite my eyes had gotten before I'd gone to the optometrist last week. Now, in this piece, I'm just sort of looking at it, and I'll look at it later, obviously, as well, with fresher eyes. But there's, there's lots of cool stuff about it, and there's lots of stuff that I would do differently. Well, no. Do more carefully. I would, I would paint it in the same way. The drawing's just a bit off. And I think what happened is that that middle arch, when I drew it out, it was all fine. I, um, But I just got the proportions off and it's sort of thrown it out a bit but that's okay that's cool um and just these uh you know these what are they called little pillars at the bottom there holding the arches up they're just a bit wonky just a drawing issue really but the painter the, the approach to the painting i'm really happy with really i wasn't sure how i was going to to manage it God, I wish it looked right on this screen. <laughs> um, but I wasn't sure how I was going to approach it. But the way I did, like without drawing, a, without painting a sky, um, I think it's the way to go. And it's, it's uh, worked out quite bright. I wonder if, just give me a second, I wonder if it looks any different there. Let me make that full screen. Ooh. No, it's still... You're not really getting it. It's all washed out. But it's okay. It's cool. Anyway, we'll go back to that. Oop. Yeah, I like it. I'm going to do a big one of this. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to tackle a uh, a full sheet of this piece. What are you doing in here, Dogger? Mm. 
Yeah, full share of this would be good. Mm -hmm. yeah. But anyway, that's all good. How are you guys going with everything? Are you um, nearing completion? I know there's a lag coming through. Cool. So thank you very much for joining me today. It was unreal. And I look forward to seeing, seeing your work and uh, whack them on that Facebook page. Please invite all your mates to that Facebook page. Don't just share the page, but invite your friends to it. So come join this stuff. It's good. And um, hopefully we can build it up, build it up, build it up. It's slowly getting there. It's, it's fine. But now I appreciate everything, and um, if uh, if you so desire, you can uh, leave a donation at the PayPal link, or my bank account details are in the the notes for this YouTube video as well. And there is another another uh, option for us starting next week for for to sign up and subscribe to my work and help support the channel and support my work and support everything that I'm providing for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Um, please, like I say, share the love, subscribe to things, go look at the podcast or don't look at them. Good. Uh, stupid. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate everybody's support. Love your work. And I will see you guys soon, but I look forward to take a photo. I'll take a photo of these today's works and, uh, and show you what they actually look like. <laughs> cool. Uh, I'll catch you soon. Cheers guys. Bye-bye.